first attraction I ever built when I came down from Scotland. It's a flea circus, Petticoat Lane. Really quite wonderful. We had uh, a wee trapeze and uh, a merigo, um, car carousel <laughs> and a seesaw. They all move, motorized, of course, but uh, people would say they could see the fleas. Oh, I can see the fleas, mummy, can't you see the fleas? Clown fleas and high wire fleas and fleas on parade. This place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Something that they could... See and touch. The name not devoid of merit. But you can't think through this one, John. You have to feel it. If I may, um, I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. You know, you read what others had done, and you and you took the next step. You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility for it. You stood on the shoulders of geniuses uh, to accomplish something as fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had, you you patented it packaged it and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox and now you're selling it. You're selling well. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could they didn't stop to think if they should.